Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime. I'm Te Yen and I'm a naval officer. I am also a submarine officer of the watch and my job is to drive the submarine out into the deep blue sea and make sure that everyone on board is safe and sound so we can return home to our families. Today, I'll be reading Hide and Seek, written by Tan Hui Ting and illustrated by Kwek Hong Shin. I hope all of you have played Hide and Seek before and are excited to find out more about Hide and Seek with our new friend. Here, he is Sammy the Subby and he'll take you on a journey into the seas to find out more about his job. In the deep sits a submarine, a lean, mean fighting machine, clothed in black and made of steel, strong and silent with many skills. As you can see, Sammy over here is wearing black clothes so that he can remain hidden deep underneath the waters so that nobody can see him. Never lingering on the surface, others rarely see his face. To them, he is a stranger. They call him the Silent Hunter. And Sammy over here, as you can see, he is underwater. He's actually beneath all of these ships out there. And all of these ships on the surface, they can't see him. But as you can see, Sammy, he is staring up at them, very focused eyes, and none of them know he's there. One of his skills is diving deep. He loves the game of hide and seek. It's hard to know where he will hide when his playground spreads far and wide. Sammy the Subby is a very playful submarine, and when he dives deep into the water, he's not alone. He's got his friends, fishies over here, and he's got a massive playground to play with. He's got all these shipwrecks, he's got all these things that when you're on the surface of the water, you can't see. But Sammy is playing. In waters that are dark and cold, only the best can be so bold. When one can't see, it's really tough to play a game of blind man's bluff. And as Sammy the Sabi goes deeper and deeper and deeper, it gets darker and darker and darker and colder. Why? because the sun's rays cannot penetrate so deep down and it becomes very cold and very dark. But not to worry because Sammy, as playful as he is, he's got so many friends out there. He's got um, this fish, I don't know if you know who this fish is. This is an angler fish. We've got squids. He's got other creatures down in the deep blue sea for him to play with. So he's never alone, even though he may be a little bit cold, but he is always happy. Along with him, his trusty crew, united as one in what they do. Though they rarely see the light, they work hard with spirits bright. And inside Sammy the Sabi, you have all the submariners, people like them, who are out there making sure that Sammy remains safe and silent out there. Brave and smart, they always keep their cool. There is nothing they cannot do. Every mission they take with pride, always ready to show their might. And you can see over here that they are very intent, they are very focused on staring at all their computer screens, operating their machinery, all in order to keep Sammy safe and to keep everyone on board safe. The crew knows noise can give them away, even hatches don't creak when they play. Sleek and silent as one they creep, alert and sharp as the world sleeps. And so all of these submariners on board Sammy they have to live there, they sleep there, they eat there, they work there. They do everything on board, but they have to do everything silently. And you can see all of them, all of their different areas. They have to move carefully, they have to cross into different doors, they have to do all of their work, even eat quietly, so that nobody can catch them. In the dark, it is hard to see, so the sub listens quietly. Everything makes a unique sound. With keen hearing, he knows who's around. And so, Sammy the Subby, when he's down there, when it's very dark or when he's very deep, he doesn't have his periscope, he can't use his eyes. So all he has are his ears. And using just his ears, he's able to hear what are the different ships out there. And you can help him as well. So over here, we have a container ship. Over here, we have a patrol ship. Over here, we have uh, another container ship, and finally, we have a warship, which is very interesting for Sammy. 
When the sub wants to seek a ship, he then begins a scouting trip. In the shadows, he will sneak to raise his periscope for a peek. So after Sammy has heard all that he needs to hear and he hears something interesting, he finally goes back up, he raises his periscope and he takes a look. And over here, he really wants to look at this warship over here. And you can see the periscope over here. And using this periscope, he's able to see very closely at the warship and see what the warship is doing. However, these warships, as well as these other ships on the surface, they can't see the periscope because it is so small and so stealthy. Before someone confirms he is there, the sub will vanish into thin air. While ships and planes all seek him out, they never catch him lying about. And can you all find uh, Sammy? Sammy is over here. But none of these ships or even the planes can find him. They think he's very sneaky and they are looking all about for him. Nothing will make the sub falter, for he is not one who cowers. He knows how to hide his sound in deeper waters to not be found. And so after taking a look at everything that he needs to see, Sammy goes back deeper, deeper, and deeper. And finally, he is in deep waters where he will never be found. The submarine carries such might into the game that there is no fight. The moment the ships are found, in the crosshairs, there is no way out. And when the su submarine is at surface and he finally uses his periscope to lock onto his targets, he finds them, he seeks them, and finally he targets them. There is nothing else the surface ships can do. They are in deep trouble. When at last the game is done, the sub emerges under the sun. No one challenges his skill and might, or doubts his will and spirit to fight. And finally, once Sammy is done, he has done his mission, he has heard what he needs to hear, he has seen what he needs to see, he can go away stealthily into the sunset and back home. As he dives back into the deep, for his mission, a secret he keeps. His conviction we know to be to protect Singapore silently. And you can see Singapore in the background over here. Sammy the Sabi keeps Singapore safe by keeping stealthy, by keeping silent, and keeping everybody on board safe and sound. And how does Sammy do it? I'm going to teach you some tricks. Reasons why our submarine is the best at hide and seek. Sammy is like an owl. He uses darkness as cover and he uses his sharp senses. He waits for unsuspecting prey, like this owl over here. Sammy is also very much like a ninja. He quietly and stealthily goes unnoticed under the waves. And finally, Sammy is like a fox. With tricks to confuse and wits to outsmart, nothing will face the nimble sub. Just like a tricky fox, Sammy has many, many tricks to hide and evade surface ships, and with that, he remains undetected as long as he wants. And with that, we have come to the end of Hide and Seek. Uh, thank you all for joining me for story time. Thank you and see you again. Bye.